What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the content schedule for this week, which includes the Combine promo, Season 5, and much more. We'll also be going over, quite possibly, the worst AKA drop of the entire year. Let's talk about the content schedule first. A lot to go over here, so look at the dates for GMM. This is when I'm going to assume things will be revealed because they marked this on the tweet when they sent out this content schedule. So February 27th, which is going to be tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So we got a night stream. They will likely be revealing the season five content that will be going live Wednesday morning. So that's going to be February 28th. I will probably be dropping a video tomorrow morning, just going over last minute things that you need to know and what you need to do before season four ends and season five starts on Wednesday. Along with season five, we should see weekly wild cards dropping on Wednesday afternoon on February 29th which is going to be Thursday morning, we got a GMM stream that more than likely will be revealing the first part of the Combine promo, and this is going to be a multiple part promo that's all coming out this week, because next Thursday, March 7th, we're going to have the Team of the Year promo. So the Combine promo is going to be a two-part promo, but both parts come out in one week and only a couple days away from each other. Now on Friday, March 1st, we have GMM at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. They will be revealing the competitive field pass, so we got a new comp pass that's coming out. More likely that's going to be out on Friday because that's when the current one ends. We're also going to see reveals for Ultimate Legends and Part 2 of the Combine promo. I'm going to assume that both of those things, especially Ultimate Legends, will be coming out Saturday morning. So again, just to recap, we got AKAs today, Season 5 and Weekly Wild Cards on Wednesday. Thursday is Part 1 of the Combine promo. Friday is the brand new Competitive Pass. And Saturday we got Part 2 of the Combine promo and Ultimate Legends. We got a stacked week of content on the way and you can certainly expect a market crash. So let's talk about today's AKAs. As much as I hate today's drop, I think EA did me a favor because now I don't have to go out and spend my money or my coins on any of the new cards to try them out for content purposes. Today's content drop features three Dallas Cowboy players, so the triplets is the brand new section of solos, and yes, we are going to get more solos to earn more tokens. I've been getting asked that question a lot. There are sets in the game right now where you can use those tokens, but there are not enough solos in the game currently to earn enough tokens to get a free full champion from this promo. This isn't any different from Legends, from Ultimate Legends, from the first AKA. I'm not sure why everybody seems to be very confused about this one, but today we got two new sequences of solos or sections of solos uh, with Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith. So you play through these solos along with all the other ones that have come out so far. You're going to earn stars if you look at the milestone stars or milestone rewards. Those stars are going to give you rewards. Now, the majority of them are going to be AKA Cruise tokens. If we scroll down a little bit further here, you can see the most recent rewards are going to be an 89 AKA player, two more tokens, and 5,000 coins. And if you go to your item sets, once you're able to get 30 of these tokens, you can trade them in for a free champion of your choice. Now, if you're strictly no money spent and only earning these through the solo challenges, you're still going to be a ways away from getting 30, but we do have pack offers every week that also give tokens in them, so people People who spend money and play through the solos might have or be very close to getting 30 of these to redeem. Once everybody's able to get there with no money spent purposes or on a no money spent account, we will drop a video going over the best card to take from this pack. But for now, just continue to play through your solos, continue to save these tokens, and please, whatever you do, do not use them on these other upgrade or exchange sets here. You can get a BND hero, you can get a non BND hero. These are the lower overall cards. They just don't really serve a ton of purpose if you're trying to build your team save your tokens for the whole the the higher overall cards the full cards so here are the troy aikman and emmett smith we got 96 overalls for the second week so the set requirements are going to be the same 493 aka cruise cards the fifth 93 needs to be player specific so if you want emmett smith you need his 93 plus any four of the other 93s that have come out which are going to be the two from last week and the two from this week i think next week will give us one more drop of 96 overall champions and 197 overall ltd and then the monday after that i think we go up one in overall so 98 ltds and 97 champions because that'll be after team of the year comes out and usually the thursday promos kind of set the tone for the overall on cards let's take a look at these abilities here the ltd is going to be michael irvin i mean all these cards i'll be honest right i'm a certified cowboy hater i'll never hide it i'll never deny it all of these cards actually are really really good I won't be using them because it's against my religion, but 6'2 receiver with 97 speed. The route running is cracked across the board. 
Really good catch rating here. Let's see what abilities he gets, and I'm curious to see if they happen to get Super Bowl chem. And indeed, they do. So the Super Bowl theme team right now is the most overpowered theme team in the game, and all three of these players are going to get it as well, which will make the Super Bowl theme team that much better. Now, as far as the pre-lit X Factor, you got Yakima up, you got Double Me, which starts on for six plays. So this is similar to the Megatron card. And then abilities wise, the last bucket is going to give Route Tech for two, Wide Receiver Apprentice for zero, Jukebox for zero, or Mid In Elite for one. And he gets those discounts in the second to last bucket as well. So you could potentially have Wide Receiver Apprentice and Jukebox on this card for zero AP. If you're not using a Hot Route Master quarterback, that's actually not a bad setup. Now, speaking of quarterbacks, let's take a look at the Troy Aikman card here. His pre-lit X Factor is going to be past lead elite which is really interesting because it may be a way to save ap now you're gonna have to deal with some plays where it's not on and now that i look at it, it actually takes one ap so i probably would not bother with that one uh what i would probably take a look at is the backyard qb if you're gonna use this card this basically gives you hot route master for six plays it goes away for a little while and then it comes back if you don't feel like you depend on Hot Route Master each and every play, that's going to be a great way to save AP if you have X-Factor slots available on offense. And as far as his discounts go, he does have a Slinger 3 release, which is really, really good. He gets Gun Slinger for 0 AP. Set Feet Lead for 1 AP is a huge discount and protected for 0. He's going to get the same three abilities in a second bucket. So hypothetically, you could go Backyard QB for 0 AP, Gun Slinger for 0 AP, and Set Feet for 1 that's one AP for three really good abilities. Again, Backyard QB is going to be on for six plays off and then on again. But for one AP to get those three abilities on this card, that, that's a really, really good setup. And even if you want to keep Hot Route Master, you can get that for three AP. So now you're looking at Hot Route Master, Set Feet Lead, and Gunslinger for four AP total without needing to use any X-Factor slot or Light It Up token. He's a little bit slower than Patrick Mahomes. He does have a better release. This could be considered the best quarterback in the game right now. The other set card is going to be Emmett Smith. Quick look at his attributes. 96 speed, 96 break tackle, spin and juke move, uh, 95 to 96. Really good there as well. Pre-lit X-Factors, he is going to get angry runs for 1 AP. So this is the same X-Factor that Derrick Henry has, which makes him really good. Starts on for six plays, goes away, comes back. And as far as his abilities go here, let's go ahead and take a look. He's got Evasive as an X-Factor as well. Bruiser for 1, Energizer for 0, Short and Elite for 1. So they actually didn't give him the greatest abilities here. Definitely rock Energizer, but if he would have like Energizer and Evasive or Jukebox for 1 or 0 AP, that would have been really, really good. Good. But I mean, the X Factor and Energizer together would probably be good enough for this card. So again, I'll be honest, I'm not going to use these cards. I hate these cards, but they are all really good cards. Let's close the video out with pack offers. If you're chasing any of the cards that came out today, I won't be mad if you spend money on these. Otherwise, stay far away from this with so much content coming out this week. Combine promo season five, new compass, team of the year next week. These cards that came out today, maybe with the exception of the Michael Irvin LTD, are going to be much cheaper in about a week to a week and a half there. So have some patience. You might be able to save yourself some coin in the long run. $25 offer gives you two 89 plus AKA cards. You also get two tokens. We talked about how you earn those from solos. This is an example of one of the pack offers that contains them. And then also, you're going to get either a 92 or a 96. It's an either or deal. That's the opportunity part of this. So that's for $25. Not terrible. Again, if you're going after today's cards and you really want them, $100 bundle gives you 10 AKA packs, which always stink, a 93 plus slot, and then your choice of either a 96 overall champion with the chance at a 97 overall LTD being in Michael Irvin. So there's only four 96s right now. The two that came out last week, the two that came out today, you also get eight of those tokens for the $100 bundle again only if you're chasing after today's cards is this good value and i think that's really it we don't have any or at least i don't see the one coin offer there's a dollar 50 offer here for 290 plus bnd ultimate legend players even at a dollar 50 i just i don't really see any value in that one because they are bnd and you know even if you get a 93 out of it those cards aren't amazing to the point where a lot of you are going to be throwing them on your roster uh there are of course coin packs if i can find them anywhere for akas but these have always been bad to me 78k here so save your coins buy the players you want and we can definitely expect 
a market crash very soon so you should certainly not be spending your money or excuse me your coins on packs right now i mean save your money as well but coins on packs would be a really dumb idea with season five right around the corner thank you guys for tuning into another video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace